This video is about the best DJ controllers in 2023. If you're looking for the best DJ controllers on the market, then you'll want to check out our top picks. With so many different types of controllers available, it can be hard to decide which one is right for you. But with our help, we've made it easy for you. So watch this video and find out which one is perfect for you. We have included links in the description box. Let's get started. At number one is Rain One Complete DJ Set and DJ Controller. For scratch DJ searching for a controller, the Rain One is a revelation. It distinguishes itself from the huge selection of very typical scratch DJ equipment thanks to a number of impressive features. A notable feature is the Mag 4 Crossfader, a top-notch fader that can handle challenging scratch routines. Additionally, there's lots of room around the fader, providing you enough mobility. Alternatively, you can use the corresponding knob on the front panel to customize the curvature. Two channel faders are located above the crossfader. They are nevertheless totally usable and provide a little amount of resistance despite not being as high grade as other rain gear. To convey channel signals to your headphones, two center cue buttons are positioned next to the faders. Serato DJ Pro is offered by the Rain One. The obvious choice for a controller like this is Serato. Dependable, reputable, and functional software installation is simple, and you can start mixing right away. As always, there's a noticeable difference between analog and digitally based equipment. The FX and feature set are based on software. That could provide a problem for some DJ. Remember that Serato requires an upgrade if you decide to use the Rain for DVS. The Rain 1 is compatible with Virtual DJ and Algorithms J Pro AI if you don't want to use Serato. Each deck of the Rain 1 comes with 8 RGB pads. The Akai MPC pad aesthetic is carried over to these rubber buttons. When you get into a pad routine, the experience is clean and fluid as a result. Fantastic travel and vibe the modes available are generally normal, but one stands out. The main modes are Hot Cue, Save Loop, Roll, Slicer, and Sampler. You'll be well versed in everything from cue point placement to beat juggling routines using the Slicer. Additionally, there are other modes that increase your creative options. Slicer Loop, Auto Loop, Pitch End Time, and Scratch Bank. The latter is a recent addition that is becoming more well-liked. You can instantly load a track at a predetermined moment so that you can start scratching. Despite the lack of innovation, these features are nonetheless helpful. New controllers frequently feature gimmicky pad functions that, in reality, the majority of DJ won't utilize or value. Here, you have a more streamlined selection of choices. However, the performance pads and the pad mode buttons are somewhat close together. If you are not paying close attention to what you are doing, this could result in unintentional triggers. The Rain One's FX controls resemble combat mixers. It makes total sense for a product with motorized platters. There are several intriguing combinations possible with six FX activation buttons. The software FX that Serato provides is the sole constraint in this situation. I still like the sound of Pioneer FX since, while they are good, they are not as sophisticated as hardware FX. Despite this, there are many alternatives available to you for including effects in your settings. Rain consistently does well in this particular region. At first, I questioned whether that level of quality was maintainable at this price. I'm pleased to say that Rain did not let me down. The metal construction is superb. It provides a great deal of heaviness and has a high-end feel. You will adore the dramatic improvement in quality if you are used to plastic controllers. It seems like professional equipment and is on another level. At number 2 is Newmark NS6 Roman 2 4-channel DJ controller. The original and somewhat legendary NS6 was replaced by the Newmark NS6 Roman 2. Users of the first generation NS6 who are thinking about upgrading shouldn't be concerned and should go ahead because the NS6 Roman 2 is packed with cutting-edge capabilities while maintaining the qualities that made the first model such a success, a reliable build at an affordable price. The LCD screens in the middle of the jog wheels on the NSX Roman 2 are similar to those on the Newmark Mixtrack Platinum. These are a fantastic addition to help you focus on DJing rather than the computer screen. All of the knobs, buttons, and faders on the NSX Roman 2 feel durable and high quality. The addition of a competent selection of inputs and outputs makes Newmark's effort in this area stand out. The NSX Roman 2's effects section includes three knobs and buttons that can be used to simultaneously activate up to three effects, as well as a knob that can be used to change the beats for an effect that has been activated. Additionally, you may switch the FX mode from the three-effect mode to the single-effect mode from the controller. 
giving you more control over the settings of a single effect. The NSX Roman 2 supports a number of Serato DJ Pro functionalities, with its 8 performance pads per deck. What I enjoy is that you need to press the shift button to enable secondary functions. You only need to double-click on the function buttons up top. This is both more difficult and simpler because utilizing shift requires using two hands, which can be problematic when things need to move quickly. The NSX Roman 2's lack of a distinct loop section and integration of looping capability into the performance pads is a minor drawback in my opinion. This is not necessarily a negative thing, but having a section specifically for loops is useful because it makes it simpler to start loops while employing other performance improvements at the same time. The Newmark NS6 Roman 2 is a reliable, cost-effective, and full-featured mid-range Serato DJ Pro controller. It offers more than all the features and capabilities a professional DJ could ask for. While there are certain design problems, such as the absence of a dedicated loop section and insufficient distance between the EQ knobs, the advantages far outweigh the drawbacks. However, the competition is fierce. Although the DDJ SR2 from Pioneer DJ only has two channels, many of its capabilities are similar to those of the NS6 Roman 2. Additionally, Roland has released the DJ505, which has capabilities that are once again quite comparable, but also benefit from having a built-in sequencer and drum machine. The NS6 Roman 2 maintains its position, nevertheless. For Sirius Mobile DJ, the combination of four channels, dual USB, built-in screens, amazing jog wheels, professional inputs and outputs, and double microphone inputs is unmatched. At number 3 is Hercules DJ Control Impulse 500 DJ Software Controller. Large entry-level controller, the Hercules DJ Control Impulse 500. The Hercules, which is 54 cm wide, has a complete plastic chassis. The Hercules stands out from other entry-level controllers because of its width, which is only rivaled in size by the newest Newmark Platinum FX models. The bigger room has made it possible for a more dispersed layout, just as the Newmark. For a controller that is still relatively inexpensive, the layout and the excellent rubber-coated butts have helped to give the impression of premium quality. The mixer has been given a metal faceplate, which enhances the controller's appearance and sturdiness. The Impulse 500 features four secret feet built inside the chassis. When these feet are fully extended, the Impulse 500 stand, just over three inches taller than the majority of standalone mixers. This height increase not only appears to be a much more expensive piece of hardware, but also feels surprisingly sturdy. It's another illustration of how the Impulse 500 may be a controller that DJ advance into their first performances with. It's perfect for DJ taking the controller to gigs with external mixers. Each deck has a 5.5-inch capacitive jog wheel in the middle of it. These touch-sensitive devices offer a fantastic feel to them because of their smooth bearings and grip-enhancing top texture. On both decks, there's a dedicated control for slip and quantize on either side of the butt to activate vinyl mode. On top of the RGB pads are buttons for hot cue, loop, slicer, and sampler modes. The actual function, however, may differ depending on the program that you interface the controller with. The pads have a click button at the bottom of the travel that is responsive even when pressed in the far corners, and they feel great beneath your finger because they are made of soft materials. A fantastic feature that is uncommon on the controller that this pricing point is RGB lighting on the pads. Unfortunately, these are rather dim because the controller is USB bus powered. Although not a unique problem, the Tractor S4 has a similar issue. It does cause us to wonder if Hercules ought to have thought about including an external power source in the package. The mixer of the Impulse 500 is divided into three distinct portions. The left area is for inputs, and each segment is devoted to a particular purpose. The right then controls outputs, with the middle controlling the faders. Again, this facilitates setup for newbies by having the actual ports of the mixers line up with the explicit text on the controller's top. The Impulse 500 surpassed our expectations for an entry-level controller, which has become a recurrent theme in the review. DJ will value the design's characteristics more as they develop more complex skills. Mixing external sources, using specific buttons to activate complex functions, and standing up to more expensive hardware. DJ who are just starting out should use the Impulse 500 as their primary controller. That being said, Hercules hasn't ignored the beginning market with the addition of the Beat Match Assistant and Tutorial. This controller is equally concerned with supporting DJ in learning the fundamentals and in honing advanced skills. But there are certain problems with this hybrid design. 
Although the layout can operate both Serato and Juiced, it is designed with the former in mind. This decision has resulted in certain sacrifices, especially when used with Serato DJ Lite, which removes the roll and slicer mode used by Juiced and Serato DJ Pro and only makes use of four performance pads. It's a little point, but it prevents this controller from becoming the greatest Serato DJ Lite controller available. The benefit is having an option between three excellent software programs, a controller with premium capabilities, and a device that will last a DJ considerably longer in their career. At number 4 is Pioneer DJ DDJ402 Deck Record Box DJ Controller. Any aspiring DJ may learn how to DJ with the Pioneer DDJ400, according to the manufacturer. It also functions as one of the most natural progressions toward more advanced equipment. Although the DDJ400 is an excellent controller, it is not without flaws. The mixer part is one area where there is room for development. It does include every fundamental feature you'd anticipate in a controller. There's also a three-band EQ and a channel-specific filter and trim knob. You can now EQ your mixes and transitions appropriately and have complete control over each channel. You can monitor your levels and remain away from the dreaded red zone by using individual channel meters. At the bottom are crossfader and two channel faders. There are eight rubber pads spread throughout both decks. The other significant modification from earlier Pioneer entry-level controllers is this. The pads on earlier controllers were marginally bigger. Despite the small difference, it is nevertheless important to note. Thankfully, the pads, hot cues, pad FX, beat loop or beat jump, key shift and sampler can all be enabled with these pads. Once you grasp the fundamentals, you have a ton of creative options that allow you to explore and develop your DJ abilities. Its controller, the Pioneer DDJ400, is small. For novice DJ who don't want a controller to take over their home DJ studio, it's perfect. If you wish to perform at events or at a friend's house, it is very simple to move due to its lightweight size and compact footprint. The FX section is frequently placed at the very top of the decks by beginner controllers. Because of this, it could seem a little out of place and separate from the rest of the controller. These features are conveniently located on the central mixer of the Pioneer DDJ400. This makes it seem more natural when you want to layer in more effects during a transition. There is also beat FX available, which syncs the FX to your tracks. For more polished mixes, this makes adding effects seem more mellow and natural. For even more creative alternatives, a variety of sound color effects are also offered. It's well made for an entry-level controller. At this price, though, don't anticipate super premium materials. The controller doesn't seem flimsy even if the majority of it is still plastic. It's still portable enough to get to a friend's house with ease. If you do want to take it outside of your house frequently, I'd advise you to purchase a flight case or bag. At number 5 is Roland DJ707M4 Channel 4 Dexerato DJ Controller. The DJ707M from Roland is a remarkably adaptable to DJ controller that works well for mixing, scratching, live streaming, remixing, event production, and even karaoke. The availability of inputs and outputs makes it simple for live streamers and content producers to connect microphones and other audio sources directly to their iPhone or iPad stream. Speakers or recorders. Your voice can sound better thanks to 16 hardware vocal effects and flawless EQ, or they can sound even better with auto pitch and other unique effects. The DJ707, built in M drum machine, has 128 patterns the production minded to DJ made from Roland's famed TR collection, which includes the TR808, TR909, TR707, and TR606. It also outputs MIDI clock to synchronize any attached instruments and is readily patched into one of the many audio inputs. With its flexibility to route any input to any output, apply independent EQ or multi-band compressors to outputs for system tuning, add anti-feedback to your mic, and save all of your custom settings into 10 scene slots, the DJ707M is unmatched for anyone DJing and producing events. A 90-day subscription to BPM Supreme Premium is also included as an extra bonus, providing you access to a sizable collection of contemporary and vintage songs as well as a capellas, remixes, and TR-ready tracks that are designed to rock with your DJ707M drum machine setup.
That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please like it if you did. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. Wishing you all the best until the next video.